This mythical champion has been labeled as the worst mythical champion in Raid Shadow Legends. Now, today we're going to take that up for a test and see if he's actually that bad. But I really think that this video will actually surprise a lot of you guys. So, I'm talking about Calamity Ride, the new undead mythical champion. And by the way, I am currently recording from the test server. I don't owe the champion, so he sounds very interesting for the Hydra clan boss. I really don't think this champion is a PvP champion at all, okay? Let's just eliminate that from the very beginning. In terms of stats, his base stats are not too bad. I wish he would have uh, probably around 150 more attack, honestly. But with the A1, he has a double hitter, uh, has a chance to uh, restore some of the destroyed max HP or get some healing. This has a 2.1 multiplier, which is not bad for an A1. Grants an extra turn if the attack kills an enemy. With the A2 right here, guys, attacks one enemy four times. Each hit will ignore defense. Each hit will have a chance to apply a different debuff. Block buffs, defense down, weaken, decrease speed. This has a multiplier of 1.6. So the multiplier on this, to me, sounds a bit low. I would probably give him a multiplier of a 2.0 for this skill in particular. Then this uh, one right here, attacks all enemies. This attack is always critical. If he kills an enemy, gets unkillable. If he kills two, gets unkillable for two turns. And this has a multiplier of 4.8. Now, the multiplier itself on this skill leader is not too insane. You have an attack aura for all battles, 35%. The Metamorph skill, of course. And get a 50% uh, max HP heal at the start of their turn. On the second phase, uh, looks pretty badass, right? And then that is meant to be more dark and stuff. Again, attack aura. We're going to start the other way around. With a passive, fully heals the champion every time they kill an enemy under a hex debuff. And he gets 10% extra attack for every enemy under debuff. Uh, under a hex debuff, pardon me. With the A3, attacks all enemies before attacking places a hex and a defense down. Ignores life barrier, poison cloud, ally protection. Now, my main complaint with this skill is that it's on a 4 turn cooldown and not a 3 turn cooldown. This is not a crazy skill. It's just... Hacks and defense down. That's it, you know? So, uh, I do think they should definitely uh, lower this down to uh, a three-turn cooldown instead. But having hacks and defense down is helpful. Then you have the AoE. Attacks all enemies before attacking. Removes all debuffs from the champion. Damage increases by 10 for each debuff on each target. You're usually going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus debuffs on the Hydra heads. So, this can be really, really nice. And of course, we'll ignore 20% of each target's defense if they are under a hex debuff. And the A1, a single hit with a 4.0 multiplier. But let's actually quickly check them out. So we are on the second form. The A1, a 4 point, how I remember. The A2 has a 4.2 plus a 0.1 per target debuff and a 4.4 from the A3. So those are his multipliers. Let me take him in for a spin first, then I'm going to show you the build and the masteries. Now, this is the team that we will try out, guys, okay? I'm very curious to see if he's able to keep up with Taras's damage. The thing with him, okay, is that uh, he has a good build. Taras has a very good build as well. We have everything that we need for the team to basically uh, roll on here. We're still we're going to use his attack aura, because uh, why not? And we are going on brutal difficulty. How I mentioned, I'll show you the build and masteries uh, at the end. But let's see what we are getting from uh, from here. So we have the increased attack. Feral will boost a bit of damage as well. If we have enough uh, enough buffs on the team. Put the block buffs on. Okay, we got one that got resisted. Not a problem. We have one hit. Taras, 700k, 500k, 600k. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Then uh, let's start with this skill. Then we're going to move over to the other one. So... The heads are not decapitated. Usually most of the attack champions, they don't tend to do wow numbers on non-decapitated heads. But still we got 200k plus with each one of the, the hits. Some of them close to 300k. And that was the first form A1. Now from here on, we're basically going to have the rest of the skills, which uh, will be single target. You know, so we're, go uh, we're going to try that out as well in a second. Okay, you do that. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's slowly kill somebody. I thought that we had hacks on that head, but we didn't. So at least we have the Archer Queen. We'll get more hacks from it. Right now, we're going to target the Head of Mischief. We have Defense down. We have Weaken. We have hacks. We have everything that this champion might possibly require on any of his skills. 
184, 184, 162, 165. So the damage for that skill, I feel like it's a bit weak. It's a quadruple hit. I would like to see that a bit, uh, a bit better, you know. Then, of course, we're going to, ch to Metamorph and uh, see what we're going to be able to get from, uh, from there. Uh, let's push a bit, of, a bit of Termiter on the team slowly. We still have that increased attack, which is nice. Uh, having a defense down from Lydia right now would be perfect, but let's Metamorph. And instead, I'm going to put defense down with, uh, with him like this. So we have defense down. We have hacks on everybody. Let's put more, more debuffs. We have, uh, uh, we have of course, that uh, weaken. Maybe a decreased attack from Taras. No, it did not happen. Let's uh, use an ally attack. 1.6 million from him. Not, uh, not bad damage at all, actually. 1.6 million is pretty, pretty nice. Then uh, let's go with the rest, see what else we are getting from here. We are provoked at the moment, which is a bit unfortunate, but we should be, we should be good. We should be good. Ooh, that was, that was painful. He got damaged quite a bit in there. We had no decrease attack on, uh, on that, you know. Okay, at least we got some healing from there. I was getting a bit worried. I was getting a bit worried. So I have two, four. Six, eight debuffs on the head of mischief. I have three on the other side. Unfortunately, I don't have defense down and weaken on everybody. But let's keep an eye on the head of mischief. What damage we are getting from this AoE skill that will basically increase the damage for every debuff. We'll ignore 20% of the target's defense too. 2.6 million damage. I don't think that's bad damage at all, you know that? Right now we have Taras to go after it. We have four buffs only on Taras. Uh, I, I'm still going to try and see what damage we're getting with, uh, with this before the head spawn back. 2.8 million damage on the head of Mischief. Now, usually, if I'm going to get more buffs on Taras, I will probably ba uh, break over 3 million. And yes, Taras still hits harder with his AoE than him. Uh, which, in a way, I feel like... In a way, I feel like he's... Is bad because hey, he's a mythical champion. He was just added to the game recently, but I don't think he's as bad as people might uh, make him sound for whatever reason. 1.6 million with a basic skill. I'll take that, you know. Let's uh, let's try to use a, a different skill from the other Metamorph. Hopefully, we keep the increased attack on. We do. So right now, I have the AOE. I'll prefer to use the AOE over the single target because it's it's better. Let's see what damage we're getting from this. Okay, so 1.5 million, we got uh, 950k, 970, and I haven't seen it far uh, on, the, on the far right. 2.3 million with Taras is uh, uh, A2. Very, very good damage from that, of course. And I have two magic heads. Okay, can I still try to basically squeeze a bit of, uh, a bit of damage from, uh, from there without getting weak hits on a quadruple hit, on a weak affinity? I... On a strong affinity, sorry, I don't know. I'm not really feeling that. Now, Taras with A1 does 600, 700, sometimes 800k based on what champion you're attacking. Don't weak hit all the time, please. 340k, 370k, 380k. So this again will take us to around 1.5 million damage with the A2. Uh, I don't think it's bad, man. I really don't think it's bad. Now... I don't say that I would love this champion. I said it from the very beginning, before uh, before they were even added into the game. I, I'm going to open primals before the new champions are being added. I don't care because I don't want to get any PvE mythicals unless it's Geralt. About the rest, I don't really care that much, you know, uh, for PvE. Yes, I want them for PvP, not PvE. So uh, that, might, uh, that might make sense to some of you guys. You know how it is. It's... It's very hard to get a mythical, so you want to make sure as much as possible that you're getting one that you need for the area that you enjoy the most in the game. And for me, it's PvP, definitely not PvE. So then we have Taras going in with four buffs again. Uh, some of the heads had, of course, the, the, the barrier there. Uh, we haven't got that much, uh, that much damage on. I actually haven't realized that we had so many heads with a uh, with barrier on. I'm gonna play it a bit longer, guys, and we're gonna we're gonna basically see a bit of uh, a bit of more damage from him. You know, I'm very curious to to see him at the end how he kind of like uh, compares. So this is a double hitter, 200k, 250k. 
a basic skill, not uh, not that crazy, but not that bad either, you know. So we have Taras. Let's go with the basic skill too. A bit over 400k. Let's put more debuffs on that head of mischief because we are about to basically change form. Or actually, mm, yeah, I don't have defense down, do I? Mm, I'm so tempted to use this one. Let's do it. So we got a 493k, a 473k. And those hits, they gave more damage because we put defense down and weaken on the last two uh, hits. You know, the first two were a bit weaker. So potentially you can, you could get around 2 million damage with that skill as well from hitting the head of mischief uh, when he's decapitated. Not many of the, the other Hydro heads will give you more damage for uh, decapitated heads as well. So you got to keep that in mind, you know. Taras, 2.3 million damage, still a bit more, of course. But Taras is the GOAT, right? Taras is the GOAT. Now, right now, I have so many freaking debuffs on that uh, Head of Mischief. I cannot wait to Metamorph. And I, I will lose increased attack. Damn it. Okay, so I'm going to have to go with a different skill. I'm going to have to go with uh, this. Puts hacks and defense down on everybody. We'll ignore Toxic uh, Cloud and Life Barriers. Okay, but this is not the actual life barrier, so it's only the one from the Head of Decay. Uh, it's still good to rescue a champion that's being devoured at the wrong moment, you know? Right now we get the increased attack, beautiful. And the A1 hit for 1.6 million, if I'm not mistaken, which was pretty good damage, but I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 debuffs on the Head of Mischief. Can we put anything else on it? No. Huh? We maxed out with all of the, the debuffs. But right now I'm very curious to use that... Uh, that uh, A2. No! <laughs> Why? We had no decreased attack. We had no decreased attack. That's a joke. Okay. We're gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave it there. Let's see Taras. 1.9 million and he had two, four, six buffs. 1.9 million on that head of mischief. But then we have, of course, that of suffering, reducing our AoE damage. So that will affect everyone. But we're gonna back out of this run just to kind of like see where, uh, where we got with it, man. God damn it. We actually lost the champion in the middle of the of the fight right there. But how I mentioned, this will surprise you guys, okay? And the reason why I said it is because I've already seen it by just looking at the run. Calamitous, 24.4 million damage. Taras, 24.8 million damage. So, that being said, he's definitely not the worst mythical champion in the game. Uh, I'm not saying he's the best. I do think... Him being a Hydra Specialist, he should be doing more damage than Taras. Probably at least a 25% more damage than he is currently doing. Because that's his job, to be a Hydra Specialist. And he is uh, a bit on the underwhelming side, thinking about it from this point of view. But if you're just comparing him to see the damage, like, if this makes his damage crap in Hydra, well, Taras sucks in Hydra too. And let me, let me just tell you that that's not true at all, you know. So uh, I do think that Calamitous is actually pretty decent for, uh, for Hydra. Now, I would like to see a couple of changes on the champion. So let me just quickly show you the build, guys, okay? I have a Savage and a Cruel set. I have 7.5k attack, 233 speed, full crit rate, 314 crit damage, 282 accuracy with the Masteries and... Uh, Buffs that we have from Feral, more than enough to debuff on uh, pretty much any, any difficulty. So that's what we have in terms of stats. Now in terms of Masteries, I have Helm Smasher as tier 6. We went with Offense, we went with Support. And we do have a Swall Cycle of Violence, which will 100% proc when you're using some of the skills. On Taras, let me just quickly show you Taras as well, before we're going to talk about the things that I would like to change on him. So Taras, he is built on Savage and Crit Damage. Total stats, 110k HP, 262 speed, full crit rate, 331 crit damage, okay? So very good HP, very good, uh, uh, very good crit damage, very good speed, and of course, triple refresh accessories. Master is, again, same story, Helm Smasher, of course, Cycle of Violence. So looking at the builds, they're both very good builds, okay? There, is, there isn't one, one build better than the other, to be honest, they're both very solid. Now with Calamitous, my issues with the champion. On the A1, I feel like this is pretty good. It's nothing to complain about the A1. On this A2, I would up the multiplier and I would change the order of how the debuffs are being placed. The first and the second hit 
will have a chance to land defense down and weaken as a whole, you know, because that is better. You are getting uh, defense down and weaken, and then the rest of the hits could potentially deal more damage if nobody else can place this for you before. Then on the third and the fourth hit, the champion has a chance to place decrease speed and block buffs. As simple as that. That's how you want to have this rolling to maximize the potential of the skill. And the multiplier of this, I would probably put it all the way up to 2.0. So you're getting an 8-point multiplier in total from 4 hits. And keep in mind, he is a Hydra Specialist. He should be doing 5, 600 million on Nightmare on a gear set like this. Maybe even more, 700, 800. Now I don't have a blessing on him either to max the stats even more. But still, that's kind of like what I feel that this champion is lacking. With this skill right here, I would make him ignore some of the some of the defense. He needs to he needs to do it. And only like that he will be more viable with this AoE. A 4.8 multiplier is okayish, but it's not that insane considering that his attack is lower. How I mentioned, I would like to see the attack at around 1.7k. The passive, I would probably try to give him a very similar passive with Val the Destroyer. But of course. Uh, the more hacks placed on the enemies, the more attack he's gaining. Now, if we are capping his uh, attack at 40%, it's fine. You know, it's still something helpful. But next to it, give him some crit damage or give him some more juice to have more firepower in his kit to be able to compete with other champions in the game. But keep in mind, he's really not bad comparing him with a champion like Taras, right? Uh, I'll be very honest with you. So. On this form, I'm kind of like a bit of a, a bit of a fan on it. I'll be very honest. Uh, this is pretty much the same passive that I, I think it could be on the first, the first uh, uh, form as well. Maybe they can alter it a bit to make it a, a bit better. You know, uh, you do have a single hit right here, a four point multiplier, pretty decent, not bad at all. You can transfer debuffs and stuff. This skill right here attacks all enemies before attacking, removes all debuffs from the champion. Damage increases by 10 for each debuff on each target. So it's not a bad skill. The damage is not, uh, is not too bad. I'll be very honest with you guys. And uh, I think that overall, this skill is pretty good. I wouldn't necessarily stretch, uh, stress too much about it. But what I would do, I would put this skill right here on a Triton cooldown. And if you get some crit damage and uh, attack from the passive or maybe... Uh, increase increase the damage in the passive, you know, like, let's just say, stacking up to 50% increased damage. Every time he lands a Hex himself, you're stacking up that. Or every time he's using an active skill. Like this, we're going to have more competitive champions for Hydra Clan boss. And when you get a mythical champion, it won't feel like, oh, F me, why? Why this one, you know? And there are a few of them in the game that make you feel like this. And my whole point is that I do not personally appreciate that feeling when you can spend $1,000 to summon one mythical champion, which is just absolutely insane, you know? So my opinion that if I would have a summoner Aphidus, I would probably punch myself from the, from the left side. If I would summon, of course, uh, Calamitous, I would punch myself from the, from the right side. If I would summon uh, Crony, I would probably jump off the window. Thanks God I live on the ground floor and nothing bad would happen to me. If I would summon uh, Toshiro, I would probably, I don't know, do something else as well that's not going to be too pleasant. That's the main thing that you guys need to keep in mind. And that's just my personal opinion with these champions that I named, you know, because they are not really PvP orientated and just for PvE, if they don't really bring anything extremely powerful, I don't think that that uh, interesting. I wouldn't necessarily want to get them. Now I do have Arbaiz, which I think she's pretty awesome. Uh, I summoned Krixia, which is she's absolutely amazing. And yeah, pretty so far so good. Like I cannot complain about those mythical champions. Then I actually got a couple of different ones. I got uh, Alice, which by the way, as well, he's a pretty solid one. You know, he's he's getting the job done. Uh, you can get some crazy damage from this skill. You have block damage, counter attack, uh, quite a few interesting things on the other form as well. But even like. He is, I would buff a couple of things on him too. So I would change a couple of things on some of the mythicals to actually make them feel like mythical. We, I got Gizmak recently as well, which I haven't really played out that much because I have no books for him. But again, 
uh, he's more on the lower side of what I would love to pull, even though he's not bad, you know, especially if you have an incinerate on him and the same with uh, Alice. But it's just you want to have that good feeling when you know that you summon the mythical. That's my whole point, guys. And uh, I'm not saying that mythicals need to break the game or anything like that. It's just don't feel disappointed when you pull one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How I mentioned again, I do think that Calamitous is definitely not the worst mythical in the game. There are probably two, three, maybe four in front of him before I call him the worst mythical in the game. But yeah, I would still change things on a lot of these mythicals to make them a bit more mythical feel. Much love and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.